Hey, everybody. How's it going? So we've got Adam Steele back on the show one more time. Uh, just want to talk about his ultimate Reaper guide and the fact that it's on sale for the next 10 days or so uh, during the ProMix Academy Summer Insanity Sale. We do this every year, and uh, we've got a hell of a deal going on Adam's course right now. So how the hell are you, Adam? I am amazing. Thank you, Glenn. Right up. Okay, so... We did that video a couple weeks ago where we talked about your Reaper course. Uh, just briefly, can you give us a rundown of what your what your course is all about to refresh people's memories or if they don't know what the hell we're talking about? Okay, so the Ultimate Reaper Guide is a several hour long tutorial series where I take people through the DAW known as Reaper. It's, in my opinion, an incredible DAW that's got a very powerful workflow. And it's surprisingly low cost to buy as well. Right. But even though on the general internet, there are loads and loads of tutorials out there that are very, very, very specific. Mine included. There's quite a lot of stuff out there from me. This course is specifically designed to walk you through right from the very beginning and kind of hold your hand virtually and say, well, here's how you get started. Here's how you record. Then gets more complicated and says well here's how you do eqs here's how you do folders here's how you do parallel compression and i talk through everything in as much depth as i possibly can and that when you say track you mean an entire song right this isn't just like one right. track like a guitar track a bass track no you take us through the entire no. process of doing a song on reaper yes i i do i actually record an entire song uh, called, ironically, Don't Fear the Reaper, which I, I thought was quite funny, and is completely legally indistinct from the Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> ah, uh, but... okay, right, because nobody's <laughs> ever heard that song before. Right, yeah, yeah. No, the, the copyright police will not be coming after me. It's... I, I do an entire meat and potatoes, ACDC-style rock track, drums, uh, bass, guitar, vocals, uh, EQ, compression, uh, all that kind of stuff, and show you how each one of those things works and where they all go. It's not a mix tutorial specifically, but when you do things like recording drums, there are certain tips and tricks that really help with that. Uh, it's how to use the recording software efficiently so that however you want to mix, you can find the buttons to do it the way you want to do it and end up with the sound that was in your head. Right, that's like, because that's the great thing about Reaper is you can do the same task several different ways. It's a lot like Photoshop, as you had mentioned, is that there's there's a whole bunch of different ways you can accomplish the same thing. I use Reaper for my day-to-day -day all the time. This is what I, I do all my mixes in. I do my show on it and whatnot. I like it because it's cheap and it's super efficient and allows me just to get crap done quickly. So what we're going to do is we've got five questions about Reaper or five misconceptions about Reaper we're going to bring up and we're going to discuss here because we've got the Reaper expert here. First one's from Jason Little. I just started using Reaper for the sake of trying it out as I'm very happy with Logic. Nowhere near as easy to use or get started with compared to Logic Pro X, but I do like it so far. If your experience with any DAW is easy enough to learn, but Logic is so much more intuitive to new users, I think. Yeah, really, Adam, what the hell, man? Reaper isn't intuitive. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not even going to kind of argue that point. I think that's completely fair. As far as I'm concerned, Logic Pro X are designed for people to use easily and relatively everything's laid out in front of you. Problem is, it's very simplified and you get things working, and then if you want to do anything that's even slightly complicated, or you want to do things a certain way that's your way, it suddenly becomes very, very difficult, or right. just isn't possible at all. Whereas Reaper can be a little bit daunting at first because it's kind of a blank slate. And because of that, you kind of have to uh, get things set up the way that you want them. But then once they are the way that you want them, it's going to work for you very m much more easily than something that's guided to be a set way. Now, here's the question I've got, though, because you're talking about this. Did you include any templates for Reaper in your lesson to help people get started? I did. I included a, a template that I made a little while back, which is kind of it's a skeleton structure, drums, bass, guitars, vocals, but with the intention of everything using separate headphone mixes. Okay, So cool. 
yeah, the reason I made the template is I made it for myself and thought I may as well pass it on. And the way that it's set, uh, you can send it, you send everything out to four different headphone outputs aside from the master. So as you mix and change the faders, it doesn't change those headphone mixes. Right. And the really clever thing is that those headphone mixes, you can log into Reaper remotely on your phone. You can select your headphone mix and you can change your own settings aside from the console. So your mix engineer doesn't have to change anything and you don't have to be in the live room going uh can you turn up the snare sure sure i i I totally get that man yeah i didn't know about the login to reaper on your phone i have yet to do that that's actually sounds pretty wicked so being being able to just remote control your headphone mix that's that's cool because that's always been a thing for musicians in the studio oh i need this ladder i need this ladder it's like you know it's like yeah give them give them the give them the faders and then they can screw up their headphone mix on their own good idea yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right cool so that's great you got templates and that's the thing i mean like i work from templates on reaper and that's the great thing it's so configurable you can set it up however you want and work from templates where it sounds like with logic you're kind of working their way and their way only this is from uh her not her as in females and her the reaper channel by kenny G. is great he's taught me things i didn't even know reaper could do yeah, what the fuck, Adam? How dare you try and teach people stuff about Reaper? That's Kenny's job. Uh, y- yeah. Yeah, I've what the fuck? Underst- what the fuck, Adam? I've, I've never understood this perspective from people because I watch Kenny's videos. So do I. Yeah, and we all learn things from Kenny's videos, and they are good for what they are. For me, Kenny's videos are like an encyclopedia. Um, everything is there, every little thing has its own video. But the way that I work is I work in a fashion where I'm not necessarily talking about this feature, that feature, this feature. I'm talking from the perspective of, I want to record a band. Now, as I go through it, what tools will come up that I need? And how do they work in context of what I'm doing? Because to me, that's just as important as knowing how every feature exists and kind of what it does is context context is key yeah so so there you go mr smarty pants hey everybody just gonna break in here for a second and make sure i don't forget to mention this before this video is over it's time for the annual promix academy summer insanity sale we've got the best deals of the year going on from now till july 12th including the everything bottle where you get every single promix academy course for 497 bucks that's like an 86 percent discount it's uh pretty crazy we only offer it once a year we've also got the ultimate rock mixing bundle which is going for 197 and that's got all of my lessons including total heavy guitar it's got the Cameron web stuff including motorhead and aquabats even we've got the ulrich wild lessons in there where he does galacticon and a couple other metal tracks it's got all of david nazi's courses as well also going on this week we've got the ultimate guitar tone bundle which is my course total heavy guitar bundled up with scott's guitar tone mastery so if you haven't grabbed either one of those those are going together for this week for 97 bucks and of course Adam's course as well, the Ultimate Reaper Guide for $97 as well. Now, the cool thing is if you don't like any of those bundles that's being offered, you can create your own. If you put over $200 worth of courses into your own bundle, you'll get it for half price. So that's pretty freaking cool as well. Anyway, make sure you check it out. Follow the link in the description below. The sales are only gonna be on till July 12th. We only do it once a year. Grab it now. Anyway, uh, Timothy E. Brown asks, I finally registered my copy of Reaper that I've been using in demo mode for about cough, cough years now. Fantastic program. I would say I'm a little guilty of that. I've been using the new version of Reaper and I'm kind of still hitting the still evaluating thing. Yes, I need to register it. I only registered my copy of Reaper three years ago, man. What the hell? I got to pay for an upgrade? Yeah, I mean, every other program that you buy, you are buying the new version, full stop, if you want the new version or it's a monthly subscription and they constantly drain your wallet. Reaper is something that you buy every two versions. Right. And unless you're a big, massive company, you pay $60 for a license. You just just you know, cut down on a couple of cigarettes a day for a while or something. <laughs> you know, it's it's not huge amounts of money for, for a lot of people. For some people, I, I appreciate that it is a chunk of money, but think how much a, a, a solid perpetual license for, say, Pro Tools costs oh, yeah. uh, compared to Reaper. Huge difference. So... I absolutely implore people. Re- but, but Reaper's cheap. Yeah. I, how, how the hell can you do, ever do anything professional with it, man? What the hell? 
That, is just, it's, that, that always astounds me. It's like, why, why, because something's inexpensive, do you then treat it like trash? Because the, the cost of something does not reflect its use and its power. Exactly. Quite right. often, things can be massively overpriced. And they can be massively underpriced. And in my humble opinion, Reaper is massively underpriced. And but that's great for us because that means that you can get it. Right, exactly. And this is the thing. This is the big big misconception for the guys who don't know the backstory. The reason why Reaper is so massively underpriced is because the guys who wrote Reaper were the guys who wrote Winamp, who went on to sell it to AOL Time Warner for the cost of a small country. So with all that extra money, they thought, hey, let's make a audio production tool for the masses. And they came up with Reaper. And they said, we're going we're gonna to make it very affordable so this opens up these amazing tools to everybody. I just grabbed Reaper because it was a little more compatible with my plugins than Saw Studio was at the time, which was a very expensive DAW back in the day when I paid. I think I paid like $1,300 for it back in 2004 or something like that. And that was by somebody transferring their license to me. Actually, um, the, the original price on that was 2500 or something like that. Anyway, okay, next up, we got... The good thing about Reaper is start at the price and small download without sound libraries nobody will ever use. I'm sure the Reaper team will deliver more good than bad in the future. Totally worth it. I want to interject on something. You know, I, I just in reinstalled Cubase onto my Mac here. For some reason, the, the licenses got screwed up for all the add-ons, so I had to go through every single one and cancel them. Libraries that I was never going to use. An install that should have taken five minutes wound up taking about an hour. Yes, that's what a exactly fucking nightmare! <laughs> yeah, this is exactly the point I wanted to make with what, what this guy was saying. Is that, like, let's say Cubase costs you what, $700, $800. It's, if you divide it up, it comes with all these these instruments and all that kind of stuff. I didn't ask for that. Right. If I, if I was paying $250 for Cubase and $600 for all this extra crap, why not throw the crap out the window? And that's how the Reaper price structure works, is it doesn't come with all this extra bloatware, but then that money you've saved, go and buy something like, I don't know, Superior Drummer or whatever it is. I know Glenn's not a big fan of that, but it, it maybe a piano virtual instrument or whatever <laughs> it is that you want. Go and buy the quality one that you want with the money you didn't spend on the bloatware. It's not going to take up all this extra hard drive space for stuff you're not going to use. Yes. I know loads of people who, when they upgraded to Logic Pro X, is a great example, they couldn't install everything because when they bought it for however the hell much they paid for it originally, because it wasn't as cheap as it is now, mm. the Logic Pro X install came on so many DVDs, it was bigger than their hard drives. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Reaper's got a real small footprint, and you can like run it off a thumb drive if you want. That's what's great. That's one of the strengths. You don't need all the extra bullshit. Don't get me wrong. A lot of those DAWs are really nice at their core, but the bloatware's got to go, guys. All right, next up. Last one. Does Reaper charge monthly or do I own it after I buy it? I'm always hesitant before buying these programs. The discounted license is only $60. So, yes, unlike a lot of companies that are moving to the monthly subscription model like <clears throat> Pro Tools, these are the pains I have to live with. So I know firsthand that paying money every month doesn't make a product a better one. This is true. And so in the DAW world, I pay $60 for Reaper. I paid for Reaper 5 about, what, two years ago? My license is still valid for Reaper 6 and will be right. valid probably for another year, year and a half to come. Yeah, I paid for Reaper 4, so now I've got to pay for Reaper 6. You know what? Uh, I think I got some mileage out of that 60 bucks I spent. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I've I've paid for the Reaper license twice now because yep. I started with Reaper three. Okay, cool. And so I've paid one hundred and twenty dollars in ten years, and it's it's so worth it. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Exactly. So yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, there you and, go. And I mean, yeah, I'm this week I'm upgrading to the full license of Reaper because now with what I do, it's become so important that kind of I don't really qualify for the discount anymore. Oh no, I have to pay $250. Still half the price of Pro Tools. No, no none of the extra bullshit either. <laughs> and like I said, it's not to say that nothing's wrong with those programs at their cores. I mean, like, you know, I really like the Cubase interface. I think it's great. Uh, you know, the virtual channels on that are awesome. 
the cool yeah. thing is you can set Reaper up for that too. And they've got that new system with the JS plugins where you get the graphic display on your sidebar and on your mixer. That is seriously freaking cool. It looks beautiful. Mm. Like I, the one thing I've been using is, uh, and that's the other cool thing about Reaper is you get those JS plugins, which are included, which are free. The, uh, so good. Have you been playing with the Reek, the R-E-E-Q? That's a, I certainly have. It's fantastic. That's become my number one EQ. It's like a fab filter EQ, but it's free. You just got to go to the Reaper page and grab a copy of it. It's gorgeous. It's so yeah. easy to work with. All right. So that's uh, five things you might not know about Reaper that um, Adam was nice enough to share with us. His ultimate Reaper guide is on sale now for the next week or so. We've got a countdown timer on the page. So if you're into Reaper and you want to get your head around it and you want to learn more about it and you're not sure how to do it, check out Adam's course because it really lays it out in a way that makes it easy for everybody to understand except for the bass players. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Adam. Thanks for being on the show. It's always a pleasure. Check out the Ultimate Reaper Guide. It's freaking awesome, and it's teaching me shit I didn't know either. Anyway, until next time, stay home, stay safe, wash your hands, take care of one another, and I'll see you all again real soon. Take it easy.